Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your day. So today we're gonna do a review. We're gonna compare two products. The first product we're gonna talk about, this is kind of like what we're really reviewing today, but I'm putting it up against one of my favorite products. And I am talking about the Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder today. So this powder has been all over YouTube. It's been all over Instagram. I've heard so much about it. Basically what you do is you mix this powder in with your foundation and it's supposed to give you like an airbrushed finish to your foundation foundation, it's supposed to give you even more coverage, and it's supposed to make your foundation just look simply airbrushed all day long. So after seeing this all over YouTube, it got me completely curious. Once something is so hyped up, I'm like, okay, I'm going to test it out. Like at first when something's hyped up, I'm like, nope, I'm going to pass. It's not going to be that good. But then once it's like really hyped up, then it really kind of boosts my curiosity and I have to try it. So I picked this up the other week and we're going to test it out today, but I really wanted to test it out next to another powder because I wanted to see if it would be the same effect, like using a different powder, not just this Velvetizer powder. So I'm going to take my favorite powder today, which is the Well People Bio Brightener Powder, which is just my absolute holy grail powder. It makes my skin just insanely perfect all day long, and I love setting my foundation with this. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to do half of my side, mixing it in with the foundation with the Velvetizer, and then the other half of my face, we're going to mix in my foundation with the Well People Powder. And the foundation that I picked to mix today is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude. I just did a full review on this foundation. If you want to see that review, I'll link that video down below. But I thought this was going to be a really good foundation because I was kind of going through my foundations and just kind of seeing which one is going to benefit the most from mixing in with the powders. And I kind of figured this one because this one is very lightweight on the skin. It's more sheer to light coverage. So I wanted to really see if either one of these powders is going to boost that coverage. So I figured this one was going to be a really good option. I've been really liking this foundation a lot. I think it's been beautiful on my skin. It just, you know, completely unnatural coverage. So let's see what we can do with mixing a little powder into it. So now the Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder is $34 and the main ingredient in this powder is silica. And the main ingredient in the Well People is mica and then silica. So mica is a mineral and then silica. So again, the Well People is all organic and all natural and I believe that this powder costs around $22. But I have them both on each side of my face right now so maybe you can tell which one is which. So we're going to really see how good the Urban Decay Velvetizer is and then alongside that we're going to see if you can use, you know, one of your favorite powders and do the exact same thing. So let's zoom in. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Urban Decay Velvetizer in a separate bowl. I have two different mixing bowls here. I'm going to mix the Velvetizer in one and then I'm going to mix the Well People Bio Brightening Powder in the other. And the foundation I'm going to use today is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude because I've been really liking this foundation, but it is more of a sheer to light coverage. So we'll see if this powder can really kind of step it up and make it a little bit more, you know, extra coverage and just see what happens with this. I think this will be a good foundation to test with these powders. I was kind of going through all my foundations and I was like, hmm, this one's, you know, probably going to be a good one to test. So we're going to do one side of our face with each of the mixing powders here. It says to take a dime size amount of the Velvetizer. So I'm going to take just a little bit and put it in my hand, just like a dime size amount like that. I'm going to put it in my little mixing bowl and then I'm going to take my foundation. I'm going to pour that straight on top of that powder. Now that's going to be a lot. I just want to make sure I mix it with the proper amount that's going to be more than I need to, you know, do half of my face. But I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and kind of mix that together. Dab it around, just mix that all together in there. So now that it's all mixed together, I'm going to pick up some of that foundation and we're going to start applying to the side of my face. So I'm going to take it to this side of the face and just start applying. Let me hold my bracelet because this sucker looks to bounce around and make a lot of noise, which is quite annoying. All right, so I'm used to this foundation. I've used this a bunch of times now you know, on its own. I did a full foundation review on this foundation. So I'm very familiar with what it looks like, you know, when I'm applying it. And with the Velvetizer powder mixed in, I can tell right away that it does give way more coverage. Definitely, definitely way, way more coverage. Okay, so here's the foundation side with the Velvetizer mixed into the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude. And honestly, like I said, I can really see a difference when I apply it. It definitely has more coverage when I'm using that powder mixed in, and it definitely goes on more matte. The Nude foundation on its own is a little bit more like a satin finish. It has a slight dewiness to it, whereas I, when I apply it with the powder mixed in, it definitely kind of takes away a little bit of that dewiness and gives it a little bit more matte finish, but it looks really good. Now remember, I'm not doing this with a primer. 
I'm doing this straight between each side. I want to compare with no primer, but pore wise, everything looks really good. So now I'm going to take the bio brightening powder and in my next mixing bowl here, we're going to take the same amount of this powder and mix it in with the same foundation. So getting some of that powder, dump it in the little bowl. Now, while I'm mixing this, I can let you guys know why I have a little bruise going on under my eye. I decided to get those veins under my eyes lasered. Remember I told you guys in a previous video, I said as soon as I get back to Atlanta, I'm headed to my dermatologist and I'm gonna have her zap those veins. So that's what I did. She zapped some on this side and this is the side I actually have a bigger vein and she zapped that one as well. So the thing is, I mean, I can obviously, I can still see the little veins, but she said it's gonna take like a month for them to kind of like shrink up and dissolve. So I'm so excited to see if that's gonna work. I will keep you guys posted for sure. But the woman that I go to, the dermatologist that I go to, is like the best doctor for lasers. Like she's she's one of the best in the entire country for laser technology and just, you know, how she uses lasers. She's amazing. So I am so excited to see like if I get results or just what happens with it. So she said definitely after the first time, I'm going to get huge, huge results. Um, and again, after a month of time, but then I might need one more treatment because this side is the one with that has like the larger size vein. So we'll see. So I'll let you guys know kind of as it progresses, I just had it done, but this side gave me a little bit of a bruise. So that's why I've got a little crazy red spot there. So, okay, taking the foundation again, we're gonna pour it right onto the bio brightening powder again, mix that together. So I am taking a completely different beauty blender now. This is the one that I just used for the foundation with the other velvetizer. I'm taking a clean beauty blender for this side. We're gonna mix this together. Same thing, we're gonna dab it all together. And then we'll just start applying to this side of my face. Doing the same thing with this powder too. Definitely more coverage. So here's the other side with the Well People Bio Brightening mixed into the same foundation and honestly it looks identical on my skin. You can see where I had had a little redness and breakout here. It covered that. It covered that bruise like really, really well. Like if I used this foundation on its own with no powder mixed into it, it would not cover that bruise like it did. So it definitely gives it way more coverage and also just a little bit more of that matte look to it. And like honestly when I'm looking at both sides next to each other, they look exactly the same as of now. Like I would never be able to tell that I used two different powders. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup real quick and I will be right back. Okay, we are back with the rest of my makeup on for the day and I am so shocked, you guys, at how like airbrushed my skin looks on both sides. Like both sides look exactly the same to me, whether it's the well people side or the well people side or the velvetizer side. They honestly look identical and they look like airbrushed skin. Like it looks like you took a filter and just like airbrushed your skin because that is how insanely good my foundation looks. Okay, zooming in so you guys can get a good look. This is the Well People side, the Bio Brightening Powder. That's what it looks like on that side. And then this side is the Urban Decay Velvetizer side. So you can honestly see they look identical on my skin. Definitely more coverage than without the two powders mixed in. And there we have it. Okay, so here we are right now. I will go about the rest of my day and I will check back in with you guys later. We'll see exactly how both sides of my face are holding up here, whether or not the well people side is staying true and holding up just as long as the Urban Decay Velvetizer is supposed to hold up. Because this sucker, from what I've read, from what I've heard, is supposed to be super long wearing. It's supposed to keep your foundation completely flawless all day. So we'll see if that holds true with the well people mixed in with the foundation as well. So far, like I said, absolutely loving how it makes your skin look. That is true, it definitely makes your skin look airbrushed and it definitely is giving your foundation more coverage. So I will check back in with you guys later on today and I'll see you soon. Hey everyone, I am back, we're at the five hour mark. I figure now is a perfect time to check in because I am actually getting ready to head out for dinner shortly with my kids and some friends and just a little get together. So I figured I'm gonna check in with you guys now before I head out and we'll just see how everything's holding up and see what it looks like, what the powder's doing, all that kind of stuff. So I've been doing little mirror check-ins throughout the day myself and honestly, like it looks identical. Both sides, I will zoom in and I will show you guys the up close too, but both sides look identical. You would never be able to tell that they were different powders whatsoever. And honestly, they both look insanely good. Like they've held up really well. I've been running around outside doing some errands, just hanging out with my kids outside by the pool a little bit. 
and my foundation would normally be like sweaty and just like hot because it's insanely hot right now in Atlanta, but it's completely without touching up. I mean, completely held up so, so well. They both look absolutely flawless yet. Like the coverage, the way my skin looks, it looks absolutely flawless. Now I will show you guys when I zoom in, both sides, not one side versus the other side, like both sides look a little bit, for my personal taste, like a little bit, I don't wanna say cakey, but kind of a little cakey, but it just looks a little bit heavy on my skin, which it doesn't, honestly, either side doesn't feel heavy at all, but it looks like foundation, that's what I'll say. I'll say it looks like foundation on my skin when you get super close. Now, if you're not like sitting like on top of my pores, you're gonna think, oh my gosh, she has like perfect skin, but if you are up very, very close and you're looking at my foundation, you're gonna think, okay, she has foundation on. So it just depends on, like I personally usually love foundations that just look like skin throughout the day that are just a little bit more light on my skin. I don't wanna see, like I don't wanna feel like I look like I have foundation on, and this gives me that more made up like have foundation look which again is not a bad thing it's not a bad thing at all because my skin looks great just the up close like you're gonna see foundation okay so here's my skin up close you guys can see for yourself exactly what it looks like around my nose a little bit it just looks like foundation to me like it looks like I don't know it looks like foundation <laughs> you can see what I mean just kind of like in certain areas where I don't know it doesn't I mean it doesn't look cakey cakey bad but you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see for yourself. So that wraps up this review for the Urban Decay Velvetizer. I think it is a great product. If you want more coverage to your foundation, if you want that like airbrush flawless look to your skin, it honestly gives that. But so did when I mixed in the Well People powder. It gives the exact same look. The airbrush, the more coverage, like it looks identical. So I would say, I don't know like if every powder is gonna do the exact same thing when you mix it in with the foundation, but these have very similar first ingredients. This has mica and silica, and then the Urban Decay one over here has the first ingredient being silica. It just depends, but the very first two ingredients were similar, so I don't know if that's gonna make a big difference. Like, I don't know if you use a powder with talc being the first ingredient, if that's gonna completely do something different. But these two were a really good fit to try out together, I thought, and as you can see, they look so, so similar and so good on my skin, where I definitely know I'm gonna be using this Well People powder in my foundation. If I want more of that, like, glam, flawless look, I'll definitely be taking a little bit of this and mixing it in. So not only do you get to play like fun little chemist for the day, but you get to have like amazing, like flawless skin for the day too. So I think it's a win-win. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this review and I hope comparing these two products helped you guys out. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Also, both these powders I will link down below in the description box for you guys to easily find. And I think that's it. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.